Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Karol Zsolnai Fehér. Let's talk about the behavior of cloth in animations. In Disney movies, you often see characters wandering around in extremely realistically behaving apparel. It sounds like something that would be extremely laborious to create by hand. Do animators have to create all of this movement by hand? Not a chance. We use computer programs to simulate the forces that act on the fabric, which starts bending and stretching in a number of different directions. The more detailed simulations we are looking for, the more computational time we have to invest and the more we have to wait. The computations can take up to a minute for every image, but if we have lots of movement and different fabrics in the scene, it can take even more. Is there a solution for this? Can we get really high quality simulations in a reasonable amount of time? Of course we can, the name of the game is Adaptive Simulation again. We have talked about Adaptive Fluid Simulations before. Adaptive means that the technique tries to adapt to the problem that we have at hand. Here, in the world of cloth simulations, it means that the algorithm tries to invest more resources in computing regions that are likely to have high fidelity details, such as wrinkles. These regions are marked with red to show that wrinkles are likely to form here. The blue and yellow denotes regions where there is not so much going on, therefore we don't have to do too many calculations there. These are the places where we can save a lot of computational resources. This example illustrates the concept extremely well. Take a look. While the fabric is at rest, it's mostly blue and yellow, but as forces are exerted on it, wrinkles appear, and the algorithm recognizes that these are the regions that we really need to focus on. With this adaptive technique, the simulation time for every picture that we create is reduced substantially. Luckily, some cloth simulation routines are implemented in Blender, which is an amazing free software package that is definitely worth checking out. I've put some links in the description box to get you started. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.